In this example, we're going to graph a linear inequality, but this time we're not going to use intercepts. We're going to do y equals mx plus b, because when I look at the original equation, I'm seeing that the constant is with the y and needs to be moved, so I'm going to go ahead and solve for y. So write down the original equation with an equal sign, because the inequality doesn't matter for this part. I'm zeroing in on the equal sign and going to move the 15 first by adding it. After I move that 15, I'm going to make sure I do mark it off on the left hand side, leaving me with that negative 3y. On the right hand side, I would like for the 5x to come before the 15, so I'm going to bring that 5x down first and bump that 15 over to the right so that it looks more like y equals mx plus b. That leaves me with negative 3y equals 5x plus 15, and I need to divide by the negative 3 that's with the y. I'm going to do that all three places, mark out the negative 3's that are with the y, and that leaves me with y equals negative 5 thirds x minus 5. So the 5 over negative 3 does not simplify, I'm just going to take that negative out front, and 15 divided by negative 3 is negative 5. This is my y equals mx plus b format, and I can find my y-intercept, which is at 0, negative 5. Go over to the graph and plot that point at 0, negative 5 on the y-axis. Then come back over and look at my slope. In this case, I'm looking at the graph, it's not going to, I'm not going to be able to go down too far, so I would like to go up. Since I want to go up, I'm going to take that negative back down on the bottom to keep my slope negative, and it's also going to tell me I can go up 5 and left 3. So I'm going to come back over to the graph at the starting point, and go up 5 and left 3, place another point, and that's all I need to graph that line. So I'm going to go back to the original inequality and see if this needs to be a dashed line or a solid line. The inequality symbol has an equals in it, so that means it's a solid line. I'm going to extend that line all the way to the ends of the graph, and the last thing I need to do is check to see which side I have to shade. So I'm going to check my 0, 0 point and locate that on my graph. I see that's on the right hand side of the line. Take the original equation with the inequality and plug those zeros in for x and y. After I get rid of the zeros and simplify, I'm left with negative 15 is less than or equal to 0. That's actually true because negative numbers are less than 0. Because that's true, my point 0, 0 is true, and I am able to shade the right side of the line. This is the graph of the linear inequality, negative 3y minus 15 is less than or equal to 5x.